In September 2024, Russian forces reported record losses, continuing a trend from previous months, while equipment shortages became increasingly evident. Ukrainian military expert Alexander Kovalenko made this statement in an analysis of Russia's monthly losses for a joint project between Oboz Revitel media outlet and Information Resistance. In September, the losses of the Russian forces maintained the average figure over the past five months, amounting to 38,130 people. This is the second highest figure since the beginning of the full-scale invasion of Ukraine. The personnel losses in 2024 remain among the highest for the entire period of the war because infantry is the main offensive potential of the Russian army and there is less and less equipment available for this purpose. In September, the Russian army lost 291 tanks, which is not much different from the summer figures and is one of the lowest totals for the entire period of the full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Only in the second half of September, after a significant intensification of the offensive on Volodar, did losses increase on a monthly average basis. Due to the intensification of the offensive in several areas, the Russian army lost 787 armored combat vehicles in September, a notably high figure, especially compared to the summer months. The Pokrovsk, Kurakov direction and the Volodar area are particularly significant in terms of the number of losses. In September, the losses of cannon artillery in the Russian army amounted to 1,219 units. This is far from a record, but it is more than in May, and it is also a good confirmation that the counter-battery fight of the Ukrainian Defense Forces is much more successful than that of the Russian Federation. In September, the losses of multiple launch rocket systems by the Russian occupation forces maintained the traditionally low average of recent months, totaling 28 units, compared to the average for cannon artillery. Such low rates of loss for MLRS by the Russian army are due to a shortage of these systems and austerity measures implemented by the command. Air defense systems are another category that the Russian army is losing without being able to compensate for these losses. In September, 23 of them were destroyed. In September, Russian forces reported very high motor vehicle losses, totaling 1,740. The reasons are consistent. A shortage of tanks, armored personnel carriers, and other armored vehicles. In September, the Russian army lost 323 pieces of special equipment, setting an absolute record. This increase is due not only to the Russian army stepping up engineering work near the contact line and attempting to evacuate damaged equipment from the battlefield, but also to efforts throughout September to establish logistics across the Seam River in the Glushkovsky district of the Kursk region. All of this has contributed to this significant, though still important, record of losses for the Russian forces. Spain's defense ministry said Thursday its first of two planes sent to Beirut to evacuate Spanish civilians had taken off and was heading to an airbase near Madrid. The military plane is carrying some 200 evacuees on board, the ministry said. Spanish Defense Minister Margarita Robles said that between 400 and 500 of the around 1,000 Spaniards registered as living in Lebanon could be airlifted out. The government has urged all Spaniards to leave and is offering to assist those who say they want to be evacuated. A second military plane is expected to leave Lebanon later on Thursday. Robles said that a third plane could be sent if needed. Spain also has 676 soldiers in Lebanon deployed under a United Nations peacekeeping mission. Robles said that the troops are staying put until otherwise ordered by UN command.